Okay, so this is a 2003 Corvette Z06, and today we are going to put a stereo system in it. We're going to put a run an amp wire from the battery all the way to the back, and we're going to um, hook up a speaker box with two 10-inch subwoofers. Okay, we got a Pioneer DEH X6500 BT. And that's what we're using for the head unit. And if you use the, if you get a head unit, you have to get this little converter box here, because um, it'll cause you problems if you don't with the Bose system that's in there. I got a kicker PK DP4 or D, DPK4 power wire kit, four gauge. Some kicker. RCA cables and a, a battery hookup where you run the power wire into. I'll show you that in a little bit. And then these are the kickers competitions. And then that's the amp DX500.1. This is a speaker box built custom from TC Customs. That fits right back in the luggage compartment. It's got Corvettes, Corvette embossed right down there. Should be pretty nice. And also, you will need a stereo dash install kit that ha has all the right stuff inside this to mount the stereo. And for safety precautions, you need to get yourself a helper. So you don't hurt your back and um, you know cut your fingers. You have to look sharp, don't get cut, things like that. And um, right now he is resting because this is a big job ahead of us. So one thing that's a must, you have to park your car in a position where you can open up all your doors, your hood, and your trunk. You have to make sure you have plenty of space to work around the vehicle because enough space is safety. You have to be safe and you don't want to scratch your car. Definitely don't want to scratch it. You don't want to ruin your car. So one of the first things that you need to do is, is you need to disconnect your battery. It's not rocket science, people. You take off one terminal, and you take off the other terminal. But with these Corvettes, there's also a mounting, a mounting screw for the battery down there, too. And you have to get a ratchet to do that. Remember the key phrase, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Okay, so while removing the battery, there is a half inch um, nut down there that you have to remove in order to pull the battery out. Okay. Excuse me. So when you remove the battery, set it into a safe location somewhere away from the vehicle.
Okay, now while the battery is out, what you want to do is get some quick detailer and a microfiber towel and clean the area you're going to be working in because it's just nice to have a nice sanitary area. So what I do is get the rag saturated, spray a little bit in there. Well, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. Spray a little bit in there. Oops. Just wipe it clean. Try to get as much area as you can. And this will definitely score points at your local Corvette show. And one mistake that I made, you never want to set tools on pieces that'll get scratched because that'll make any Corvette owner very upset. Damn Skippy. You want to thoroughly clean the area. You want to clean that shit like Danny Tanner. What? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Okay. Clean all the wire looms. Anything that is dirty. Because then you can see what is going on down there. Okay. That's pretty good, huh? We can always come back and finish up later. But this is good enough for now. It's nice and clean. Bam, bam, bam. And always use a microfiber towel. Oh, sorry. Can you see in there? Yeah. It looks clean. Okay. So also the reason why you have to pull the battery is, is because down in this little corner down there, that's really kind of hard to see, that's where we're going to run our amp power wire for our, uh, for our amp. There's already one in there. But this isn't what we're going to use. We're going to refeed a new one through that same hole down in there. Using that existing wire. Using this existing wire. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the floor mat. And then the cover for the computer. The cover for the computer right there. And that just comes out real easy you just pull it right out okay now this now you want to pull off your rocker molding panel which snaps right out really easy you have to be careful you don't break the tabs but it, co it comes out pretty easy The main objective right now is we're just trying to feed the power wire through. So you don't really have to take everything completely off out of the car. Okay, so we're going to take the seat out and you have to remove these clips. We already got one clip out. When um, it's in, you just take a screwdriver and just lightly pop just it up. Just pry the head up and then it'll come out. This will slide forward. Just like that. Sure, they probably make a special tool for that, but we don't have it. We don't have it. 
but if you're very careful, you won't break anything. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove all four, all four bolts for the seats. And then the seat should just come right out. And this is a non-power seat. Other Corvettes are different. Yeah, the Z06 doesn't usually have a passenger power seat. Oh, you know, we need a long socket. What the? So make sure when you remove those bolts there, you get a long socket. It's, it's going to be a 15. Okay. It's going to be a size 15 socket. There's no covers for the back seat. They just come right out. The seat should be able to just be lifted right out with no problemo. You have to be very careful when you take the seat out because you don't want to damage your door panel or your paint on your car. Remember to keep your stuff in a, in a nice location together so you don't lose all your parts. See if there's any money in there. Nothing. What's this? Bank statement. Yeah, I can vacuum all that out. Yeah, let's get a vacuum. What's this thing? Are you filming yet? Yeah, it's good. So, once you pull the seat out, you want to clean the area. Get an extension. And you need an extension for your vacuum. Crevices. You get a good, powerful vacuum. The way to test it. To make sure it sucks good. Yeah, this one works. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Are you you're not gonna put that in there, are you? No. And you wanna work in back and forth motions. You wanna go with the grain of the carpet. That's what you want to do, go with the grain. Okay? And back. And four. Side. Side. Up and down. Side. 
up and down motion on the side. Up and down. Don't go any other way. You're going to ruin your carpet. And you don't want to have to buy this carpet for your four bedrooms. It's expensive. Remember, back and forth motion only. If you don't understand that, then you should have a, a professional attempt this for you. Yeah. And Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel's son this. And when they were in Okinawa.